Thank you for tuning in to more NCA action. This is the finals, the grand finale of the Four City Flickers that took place in March of 2024 in London, Ontario. We have Josh Carfiello to your right, who defeated Hartung and Walsh on his way to the finals. On your left, we have Connor Ryman, who beat Andrew Hutchinson and Justin Slater to find himself with a seat at the finals table. Sure to be a doozy here. Are you ready? Ryman, first to act, first to miss. Lips out just a little bit on that open 20. See what Carfiello is able to do with this offering. Looks like he's going for a bit of a follow through. Oh, wow. Lots of action there. Almost got the 23 separate times, I think. Oh, sweet bounce back from Ryman. Gives himself a 120 advantage and Leaves himself a, um, yeah, leaves Josh in a precarious position. I don't know. The grammar police can get after me for that one. I'm not sure I use that properly in my sentence. Josh looking for a takeout likely. Okay, I think he might have been going for a hide there. If he could have got the off, he'd have been sitting two on. Ryman, uh, okay, opts for another 20. Goes up 2-0 in the 20 cup. Josh going for a fancy shot there. That wasn't too far off, getting the takeout and bumping, promoting his disc up in. Looking for that 20. See if Ryman's going to go for more. He is. Takeout 20. He has found his groove. Josh comes up a little bit short. This first round, pretty much that seals it right there. Josh hasn't quite found his range here yet. We'll see if he just takes advantage of his last couple of shots. No, he's going to try to find himself a 20 here. Nice angle. Doesn't secure the off. Doesn't really matter, though. Ryman still gunning for more. There, Josh confirms that the dark discs do fit as we watch the highlight replay of a couple of nice Ryman 20s. Josh first to act in the second round. Now he's found his range. Drains that open 20, putting a little bit of pressure on Ryman. Folds under the pressure, comes up short. Josh makes him pay. Ryman right back to form, dropping another 20 there. Josh lips out just a little, oh, I was gonna say right side of the hole, but not this time. Ryman with the nice short follow through 20. Ryman taking that second to reset. Pays off as he draws even in the 20 cup. 3-3. Three, three. Each player with four shots left. Josh comes up a little short. Ryman likely... Ooh. Ryman unable to convert on that. Just a tiny bit off. Opportunity for Carfiello to get... Wow. Nobody wants it. Not criticizing. Those were fairly tough, heavy hangers as it goes back and forth. <laughs> Ryman's body language shows just how he feels about that. Josh says, that's how it's done, my friend. Back to you. A little long on that open 20 offering. Carfiello secures the takeout, stays away. Woo. Ryman goes for it. That's all he had. He needed the off in the 20 to draw even in that round. Nice follow through 20 by Ryman. This is knotted up 2-2. Ryman goes a little long. Not a bad spot. We'll see if Josh plays offense or defense here. Nice defensive shot. Bounce back a little bit off the peg, but I think he's going to be okay. Ryman pulls it back to his side, and he is nicely posted. That is going to be a tough takeout. Josh likely... Oh. Oh, that was close. Went for that bounce back 20. The unfortunate part of that is that light disc is still up against the post. Interesting round coming together here. Ryman sits two on. Carfiello with the hammer. Nice. Didn't get the off, but he did finally remove that disc from the peg. Now it's Ryman who has a pegged post to deal with. Really jammed up in there now. 
Uh, see if see if Josh gets the one twenty or gets the one off. Ryman pushes for it, and he may have left an opening here for Carfiello to take a... Oh! Wow. So close. He had drained that 20. He'd have been a fantastic position in this round. Instead, the mess continues. Mm, the double is not ideal there, as he may nick his own on the way out if he goes for the double takeout. Let's see what he decides to do here. Single takeout. Settles for the single. Each player with two shots left. So much more interesting than a 20s race. What will Ryman decide to do? Looking at the options. I think he's lining, trying to line up, see if there's any option for a, a double takeout. That dark disc quite posted there. Maybe there's a double the other way. Oh, there is. I think he was also looking for that 20, but he should be fairly happy with the outcome of that. Now it's Josh Carfiello's turn to go for the double takeout. He's going to need it. No, no, if it's lined up quite right. The one should go for sure. The second one, let's see. Oh, no. See what Ryman goes for here. I don't think the off is there. Is he going to go for that bounce back 20? No, he did get the off. I know not of what I speak. If Carfiello can take that one, that 15 out and stick. I believe they'll be tied. I think that's a, a five closest to, the, to, closest to us right now. Looks like he may be settling for the tie, but he needs to keep that shooter. He does. Yep. Smart decision. Tied round. Knotted up 3-3. Wow, that was so close. Just narrowly missing that uh, 20 on its way in there. Josh, first to act. Goes a little long. Ryman content to play defense. Didn't look completely happy with that, although I'm not 100% sure why. That's actually not a bad outcome. Probably just not quite what he was looking for. Josh secures the takeout. See what Ryman goes for here. Nice roll away. He may have left an option for Josh to use a post. Josh seemed content to just try to wait for something better. That's not it, though, I don't think. If he were able to get that off, catch a peg, and a... Mm, if he was able to secure a 20, he'd have been in pretty good position with uh, one on on the outside. Ryman going to play possum over on his side. Josh is going to need to flirt with his own disc on the way through the house here. Oh, secures the off, but I'm not sure whether he meant to lose the shooter or not. Oh, Ryman not going to be happy with that. Rolled in way closer to the center than he wanted to. Josh, Josh deciding which side to take this from. Oh, no. That could prove costly. Ryman makes him pay. Ryman up in the 20 cup. And has play on his side. And has the hammer. And decides to get back to business of open 20s. Taking a 5-3 to three lead. Definitely some interesting rounds in this match. Ryman settles into the open 20s. Josh comes up a little bit short. That is a heavy hanger. Unable to secure the 20 or the off. Looks like he's going for a touch and he gets it. Nice shot. Ryman looking to get play back to the middle here. Pulls it over. Not a terrible hide. Oh. That light disc did not quite make it off. That could prove costly. Death by fives. 
Although this may have set up a double takeout. No, it doesn't look like he even went for it there. With the hammer, content to play in here. I do not trust Connor Ryman to not drain a follow through 20 on me in that situation. There he secures the double. Two shots left each, tied up in the 20 cup. Oh, right there. Oh, that was so close. Almost drained that follow through. Josh unable to make him pay, although not in a bad position. Let's see, he's definitely going to be pushing for the follow through here. Oh, doesn't get it. Loses the shooter. All Car Carfiello needs is a valid shot. Drains that 20 to knot this up 5-5. Five, five. Good battle between these two. That double takeout, fantastic by Carfiello. Josh first act in this next round. Players getting down to business with their open 20s. In the background of this match, you see Nathan Wall squared off against Justin Slater. That is the third place match. If that's not out yet on our channel, it will be soon. Make sure you check out that. The semis, the quarters, there was tons of great crokinole action out of the Four City Flickers tournament. Back to the action here. Josh goes up. Now it's tied. 4-4. Four, four, three shots left each. Oh. Ryman lips out a little bit. Leaves an opportunity for Josh. Unable to convert. Not in a bad spot. Oh, why do I even say that? Great 20 by Ryman. One shot left each. Josh lips out. Costly. Oh, wow. Some great shots, but some uh, unideal shots by both competitors in that match. As Ryman goes up 7-5. Mm. Rattles around the middle. Josh, an opportunity here. Oh, unable to convert. Slams that center hole just a little too hard. Pops back out. Ryman pushing for that follow through 20. A little off on his angle. Leaving Josh. Pretty good opportunity to play some defense here. Let's see if he can get that takeout. Stay on his own side. Likely forced Ryman into appeal, which he does. Play back to the middle. Advantage Carfiello as he has the hammer. Drains that 20. Ooh, Ryman a little off there. Definitely advantage Josh in this round. Three shots left each as Connor Ryman goes for that bounce back. Almost secures it. Nice defensive play there. That's a really good position. Fantastic take a Great defensive play by Josh Carfiello in this round. Nodding us up at seven points each. What a battle. Josh first act comes up significantly short. Not, certainly didn't give a backboard, but did open the opportunity for that nice roll away. Great position. That is ugly from the inside or from the outside. Josh opts to go for the middle, but that was such a tough shot. If Ryman can secure this open 20, he's going to be in great shape. Carfiello may be forced to peel here, or looks like he may be trying to... Yeah, he went for it, trying to bring himself back in. It was there, but it was very, very skinny. Uh, this going from bad to worse at this point. Ryman pulls it back, definitely forced him into a peel. There you go. Ryman in great position here. He's up a 20. He's got hammer. He's up two 20s with the hammer. Josh with his back to the wall. Nothing he can do but drain 20s and wait for a mistake. Mm. 
Scarfiello needs the off and the 20 to make him shoot. Ah, unable to secure that. Last shot, inconsequential. Ryman carefully counts to make sure that troughing his disc is good strategy. Ops to just touch. What a fantastic matchup. Great match between two great competitors. I hope you've enjoyed this and all the other coverage. We'll be coming back at you with more NCA action as soon as we have it to work with. Like, share, subscribe, and make it a great day.